What happens if you misuse a tempo trainer? I'll explain it all in this video. Hi, this is Andrew Sheaf with Mastering Flow. I help triathletes identify the critical skills for fast swimming and I provide them with the tools to learn those skills in any location. For a free eight week tactical training program to help you get your skills on track, click on the link in the video description below. Welcome to this series on training equipment in the water. We're going all over all the benefits and drawbacks of each piece of training equipment. I'll show you the best strategies for using each piece of gear. While tempo trainers can be really useful for improving your swimming, they can also be problematic when used inappropriately. All problems stem from the same basic mistake, being too aggressive with the metronome. Ironically, being overly aggressive almost always results in achieving the opposite outcome of the desired one. Let me explain. If you're trying to hold a higher stroke rate and you set the stroke rate too high, you're actually going to fatigue early and you're not going to be able to sustain any sort of stroke rate. You'll actually end up finishing with a lower stroke rate. If you're trying to swim with even pacing and you set a pace that's too aggressive, you'll start out okay and then you'll get tired. Then you'll end up swimming slower than expected. This ruins the whole goal and the whole purpose of trying to even pace something. If you're trying to lengthen out your strokes and you set the metronome too low, you're going to take really long strokes, but you'll end up wrecking your rhythm and your timing in order to do so. Lastly, if you try to do any of these interventions for too long, because the repetition distances are too long or the total volume is too long, you're going to fatigue and you're not going to be able to sustain it. Know your limits, approach them, yet stay within them to experience success. If you do, a tempo trainer can make a big impact for you. Check out the key takeaways for a summary of these concepts. To make sure you're notified when future videos are released, click on the subscribe button below, as well as the bell icon next to it. It really helps me spread the word about more effective swimming, and the more I can do so, the more videos, the more advice, and the more information I'll have for you.